morning. Today we will be cutting the fabric for our peg legs and I wanted to give you some of my tips for efficiently cutting your fabric. I have decided to go and do go ahead and do the um, uh, color block side with the pocket. So I'll show you how I cut my fabric. I'm using this uh, nylon spandex and uh, poly spandex uh, for as an accent. And yesterday, I hope you all you all got to cut your um, your pattern pieces. <coughs> The best way to make sure you cut your pieces on a, you cut your pieces mirrored because we've seen many times in the group people making two pair of peg legs instead of one because they forgot to cut one of the mirrors is to just cut them at the same time instead of doing multiple cuts. So what you will need to do is make sure you have your fabric fold along the grain and this will ensure that your fabric will be mirrored you have uh, wrong sides together with the fold here. If you start cutting from the salvage here, I find that you get the most out of your fabric, especially when the pattern does not need to be cut on fold like, like it is for the peg legs. So I will be uh, cutting my main pieces first and then we'll do the accent. For the main piece, I, I've decided to go ahead and do the contour, um, the contour um, waistband. So I will be doing the low rise cut. I'm grading for a 1x uh, waist and 2x hips. That's why you'll, you'll see both cut lines on my patterns. I wanted to show you how a quick trick to make sure you don't lose your pieces of patterns uh, if you and have access to multiple rice without printing multiple times. I basically just cut a little bit along one, one side and just leave a little bit here or add a, a piece of scotch tape. This way I can just fold it under, cut the low rise and if next time I want to make a high rise I just fold it back up and you have your pieces together ready for you and you don't have to look look for them. So I'll be doing the low rise cut because I want to do the contour waist. So if I lay my piece like this and then I do the same with the other leg, I lay it on this side. A, a bigger cutting table will definitely be helpful. But I wanted to show you that once I do my cut like this, and then this one here, I have two, four pieces, two mirrored for each part of the color block of the leg. <coughs> Excuse me. And since my table is not big enough to lay them and keep them both at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and do one at a time. And pattern weights are definitely a good thing to have however I don't have access to them all the time so I will be using my other rotary cutters this is a neat trick if you have two rotary cutters and since you never want one for paper the same one used for paper and and fabric I have one labeled paper that I use doubles as a fabric weight as well um, let's see I'm going to add a little notch here See where you have your notches just add a little notch to make sure it matches there you have it so this is one leg and this is the notch right here a sharp rotary cutter is definitely a must especially when you use uh, polyester fabrics pretty much all the time all right so that is one 
We'll just cut it along the other side, keeping the fabric folded. This is a nylon spandex, a gorgeous nylon spandex, also known as swim. So it can be used for the siren top too. It's a little slippery. And then we'll do the other color block. Right here. And then I'll take it as close as possible to the edge to make sure I have leftover fabric. <coughs> Don't forget to add your little notch there. I think it's time for a new blade. So we cut the main legs, main part of the leg. Now we'll do the color blocking. What I like to do is if I use multiple fabrics, cut all pieces of the same fabric and then move on to the next one. So in, uh, in this case, <coughs> I will also add the, my color block. I'm doing, I want to do the center of the side strip in the same fabric as the main part. So I'm grabbing my middle color block. Add it. And we also need to cut two unfold. So since two mirrored images, and since the fabric is right here and unfold, I'll just be using this part. And see, I've saved a lot of fabric, and it was easier because I didn't move around. I didn't switch from one fabric to another. It just you're saving yourself a lot of time now. Two little notches here. This will be the center. And I think I'm going to add a pocket to it. And I will use the pocket uh, from the, I'll make the pocket from the main color too. And then the rest, including the waistband, will be with, um, with the accent color. So I still have, this is the pocket piece. As you can see, I'm trying to save as much fabric as possible. Now I'll be moving to the accent. And we'll be doing the same thing. We have the <clears throat> top. We have the top color block, the bottom uh, color block, and then the waistband. All will be cut with the 
with my accent fabric. And because they, the color block parts have to be cut on uh, mirror images, I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did for the main fabric. Try not to cut exactly uh, next to the salvage because sometimes the salvage curls and you don't want that. So about an inch away from the salvage would be enough. So if you're color blocking, make sure you remember to move your, uh, to do the same thing for the waistband as you did with the main parts. A little notch here. We have the waistband left and the little pocket um, band. And because this is a, a pretty thick fabric, I'll be using this as for the contour waistband for a little uh, more support. Make sure you put your um, your waistband on fold. This time I'll be changing this because I don't no longer need two mirror images. I think I might line it with the swim fabric because you need you need one of the main fabric, one of the one lining, and this is really thick. So I think if I use two of these, it might be a little too thick for my comfort, uh, especially with Florida heat. So I think I might go ahead and do, um, this is the You guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask there's a lot of useful information on our blogs but we are just a message and a, a post away so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting the waistband the lining for the waistband and the bands for the pockets and I'll see you guys here tomorrow when we start sewing our peg legs <laughs>